Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play uh, FDL Fashion Light. I'm Nye, this is Trance. Last episode, we were able to unlock our Type B of the Nasasio, which is the DASR-12. Pretty cool uh, stealth ship that we get to run. Uh, it does have some differences from the Nasasio. Namely, number one, it starts with the Glaive Beam, which is the most powerful beam weapon. It does three damage at a time, which means that it uh, gets to bypass up to level three shields. Uh, we also lost our titanium uh, systems augmentation, the one that allowed us to ignore uh, system damage, and instead picked up uh, just long-range standards by itself. And then we also get level 2 cloaking right off the bat, but in order to power everything, we have to have a Zoltan on our ship, and if this Zoltan were to die, uh, we'll be uh, completely screwed. Now, one other feature about the ship that the previous model doesn't have is the cockpit-mounted muffin button. Just press and it dispenses a muffin. Yes, but, you know, that really isn't use useful in combat. I mean, Sure it is. I mean, yes, 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 traveling at the speed of light, fire a muffin, all that jazz, but... I don't get that option. No, no. All you have to do is fill the enemy ship with muffins. Replace all air with muffins. Unless you're facing some sort of hideous muffin-breathing alien. Let's see, isn't that what the uh, slugs are? No, no. They don't breathe muffins. No, they're cupcakes. That was probably the wrong time to fire that. Okay, so I'm hoping to kill this thing right now with the glaive uh, beam, because they're going to fire uh, their burst laser mark two if they do. If we do not, I'm going to take damage off that, because it fired just before I did. So but only we... one hit. Yeah, I mean, it was only one hit, so it's not that bad. But uh, we did take that damage. I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, power directly into our uh, reactor, so that way we can level up our uh, re uh, engines to level 2. And that way we'll actually have a little bit of a dodge percentage. But uh, yeah, this uh, we're going to be needing to see a you know set of shields as soon as possible. That is also uh, one of the major differences between the Nasasio and the DASR-12. And then Asasio starts with level 4 engines immediately right off the bat. Uh, the DASR only starts with level 2, so we have a significantly decreased uh, dodge chance. Our, in our uh, uh, FTL also charges a lot slower, too. Yeah, this is more of a stealth crusher ship rather than a uh, speedy cruiser. And this one has two beam weapons and an ion weapon. Ion weapons can completely screw us up. Let's go ahead and cloak up right now. Hopefully I cloaked in time, so that way we're going to glaive beam while in cloak. Nope, still didn't time it quite right. We're going to be hit by those two beams, which took out our glaive beam and set it on fire. Wow, that is dicks. Uh-huh. Yeah, the this is something the game does, and they also ioned our our cloaking device, so we can't use our cloak. Uh, this is something the game does frequently. It very, very, very frequently destroys the only thing keeping you alive, and also the only thing you need to uh, you know stay that way. Uh, it's a very common thing that uh, gets done in this game. And we are already down to 75% damage on our hull. There's a fire in our sensors room that I can't really do anything about because my uh, manual door control has been completely fried. Yeah, I was actually just about to fire off the glade beam and kill them, so that was a really just bad, bad timing thing. Let's go ahead and vent these rooms in the hope that we can uh, get rid of that fire. And hopefully our glaive beam will fire fast enough to kill them, which it might. There we go. Okay, contact the civilian ship, get a bunch more scrap. So, yeah, we're not doing amazingly, but on the scrap front, we're doing okay. So we're about halfway to shields. Once I can get level one shields, then we're gonna be in a much better place. Then the glaive beam will actually be, uh, will actually be able to survive until it can fire. So that's what we're waiting for right now. I also got that fourth crew member, so I don't have to pull crew members off their various spots uh, while I, uh, you know, wait for stuff to happen. Okay, waiting for that thing to fire. 
dodge that. And let's see if I got the glaive beam timing right. I'm pretty sure, again, I, fire, I fired the cloaking device off just a little bit too early. Yep, fired off a little bit too early, so our glaive beam is unfortunately not going to fire faster than their beam. So we did end up taking a little bit more damage. But luckily it did not hit our actual glaive this time. It hit the cloaking device, so we were able to continue firing. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep heading. Uh, I'll head up in this direction so we can explore this area a little bit more before we head towards the exit. What am I going to find here? Uh, let's go ahead and just try to be a hero and attack these pirates. Okay, this I should be able to handle without too much of a problem. Just got to wait for those things to fire when they get close. There we go. Okay, so again, not quite the exact right timing on Glade Beam, but their weapons fired at roughly the same time, so that way I can... Glade Beam can charge before we get shot again. They're offering me a decent uh, bribe, but I'm going to reject it. Uh, we got an arms dealer here. I got nothing to sell. He has nothing I'm interested in buying right now. We're just going to move on. Hit up this distress beacon real quick. Uh, I have an extra crew member, so let's send in our crew to help control the crowds. We get nothing out of it, but we didn't lose anything either, so I'll consider myself lucky. Got another ship we can fight. This should be, uh, this should end up being a pretty easy one, but I'm not going to be able to kill this guy in one beam, I don't think. The only thing I care, only weapon I care about is it's a heavy laser, so we're just going to wait for that to fire. And go ahead and dodge it. Okay, should be fine against this one. And hopefully we'll get a reward, a double reward from this one. Not only from the, uh, destroying this ship, but also from getting ourselves the, um... Okay, or maybe that doesn't kill them. Maybe it deals exactly enough damage to not kill them. Kind of worried about where that ion will hit. That sucks. We do have a breach here this time. I'm going to go ahead and cloak up. That way we have plenty of time to repair. Their ship's gone. We got a decent amount of scrap, and what's more important, we got a decent amount of um, uh, fuel as well, which was something I was kind of hurting on. So we're going to be able to keep exploring. Let's make sure I get everybody healed up real quick. I got to make sure that Ken over there gets healed up as well. Trance, I'm afraid we have a Dr. Jones on this ship. That's somewhat frightening. I'm not sure if it'll end as badly as Lost in Space did, but we have, uh, we, you know, we've got the same type of recipe going on, a teleporting ship and a Dr. Jones. Fortunately, I do not have a, uh... I don't have an anti-personnel drone on my ship, otherwise we'd be screwed. There should be an achievement for that. Have an anti-personnel ship, character named Dr. Jones. You know that'd be hilarious. Come on, Glade Beam, charge for their beam does. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Luckily, it only dealt a little bit of damage. Okay. Plenty of scrap. Head to the exit just in time. That I was getting kind of close on this one. Go ahead and uh, let's attack the Slaver Scum. And let's hope that we get a really nice reward off of this one. Okay. Well, we'll see what they we'll see if they offer. I might just kill them anyways just to get that scrap so I can get my uh, shield or my stuff. Eh, let's accept it. What are they gonna give me? A human. Just pop him in here. Just. In this what was that? Trance kind of lost you. Yeah, I was gonna say at this point it's more useful. Well, the crew member's nice. That's one, that's two. I can kind of hear you. 
Now, do I want to fight this guy? I know he has missiles. Uh, he has his super shield, but that'll go down in one glaive beam shot. He's got another weapon over here that I can't quite identify, so I'm trying to decide do I want to fight him or not. I... Let's fight him. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we... Zoltan ship, Zoltan shields, blah, 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 blah. They must have slugs on that ship. Because slugs always disable a system, and they disabled my computer. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Okay, good. Both of those missed. I really would like to not take damage during this fight. It's not going to be possible. I'm taking damage during this fight. But, you know, I'd appreciate it if it didn't happen. Okay, so their their normal weapons are offline. Or their normal, their, their like super shields are offline. My O2 is now offline. Okay, let's arrange this like so. Where is this gonna land? Okay, that's in a random spot. Okay, that's fine. Just go ahead and uh, cloak up. Glaive beam will take them out. They're offering me stuff I'm not going to accept, and they're going to die. Okay. That gives us enough for shields, so please, God Store, give me shields. Why? Why would you do this, game? Computer, cheating bastard, trolley, etc., etc. Well, there's another store, so I just spent money to get my ship restored. Maybe the next store will have something worth a damn. Got that set up? Okay. So let's wait for them to do their thing. Gotta cloak at the last possible second. Because it looks like hits aren't calcul- or hits are like recalculated if you cloak up. Just from what I'm able to tell. Okay, they're offering me five missiles, some drone parts, and scrap. I'm just going to reject that offer. Wow, that, that didn't kill them. Wow. I bet they're asking the same question. Well, I know why it didn't kill them. It's because I uh, set the beam in the wrong direction. I didn't take out shields first. But that's fine. They're still going to die. Not a good enough bribe. You should have offered me more scrap than that. Only 14 scrap? Really? And the victim already jumped away. So I actually, I don't have enough scrap to make that store worthwhile, so I'm not going to even bother. There's nothing wow. to sell? No, not yet. But if I destroy this ship, I should have plenty to sell. You should be able to back warp. Well, it's going to be kind of, that's going to be kind of uh, risky just because the rebels are starting to catch up to me. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of risky to back warp just because the Repo Rebels are kind of right there, and I don't want to risk having to fight my way out with just like level one shields. Really? I mean... These guys should not have this much health this early on. It's... TCIACB? And there goes my glaive weapons. TCIA, mother frickin' You need to buy a secondary weapon system is what you need. I need to have a secondary weapon first. That's what I meant. Like, I need shields before I need that. Mm. Shields let you survive. Secondary weapons, not necessarily. Having another option, if they repeatedly take your weapons offline, as the foes have been shown to do... Well, to give you an example, uh, to give you an example, uh, and there goes my weapons again. To give you an example on the, um... But, on... hold on. Notice what just took out your weapons. Yes, I know, and another weapon system would not stop me from being hit by missiles. Right, but it would give you something that you could use with a crippled weapon. 
This is just, this is something the game does. On the Bulwark, for example, they always go for my O2. Always. My O2 will go down over and over and over. It's just depending on the ship, they will hit certain places over and over and over. There go my engines. There goes my sensors. I just healed the ship up, too. Finally, they're dead. Okay. Worth it. Shields. Nothing to sell. Fix up as much of my hull as I can, and let's take a moment just to repair shit. Is there another fire going? No. There is one minor problem. It's a very minor problem, but it is a problem nonetheless. I do not have the energy to run those shields yet. As I said, it's a minor problem. Blech. Are you finished healing up yet? Okay. But what I can do is, if I don't need engines, like for instance, if they're using all beam weapons, I can take power out of engines and get shields running instead. Mm -hmm. So that's an option. Uh, come on. Really? I mean, really, really? Really, really. Okay. Well, what do I want here? I kind of want more powered engines, honestly. <laughs> and there goes my med bay again. But at least that I don't mind as much. I, I don't have a problem with med bay. Okay, let's take power out of oxygen and engines to put power into shields. This is probably going to hit. Yep, and look, look what got hit, got hit again. Yeah, that's why I was suggesting having a weapon subsystem just in case, but... Eh. And they just hit it again. Yeah, that is just bullshit. Yeah, it's obnoxious, but at least I have the power of Notch on my side. By the way, 80% dodge chance. Just got hit again. I, I yeah, I'm not. This... I'm not liking this ship at all. I, 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 I hate this ship. I really do. Yeah, this doesn't even look fun. It's quite obvious that the RNG is being skewed here. Case in point, and there we go. Like, if I had another weapon or something like that, or if the RNG wasn't playing up quite that much, yeah, but as it is. Okay, let's just jump to the exit and move on. But, you know, viewers, there's one good thing. When all said and done... Crap. Hmm? Just lost the Zoltan. Ooh. Yep. Well, anyway, when all is said and done, there's always the option of getting cool and fun mod ships. You keep on going on and on and on about the mod ships. Can we leave the mod ships alone until we actually get all the normal ships? I will. We haven't even got the best ship yet. That still hits! Come on! You know, you're gonna get the crystal ship, and what's going to happen? Is everything you encounter will have a weird weapon you've never seen before. You'll look it up, and it'll turn out to be the Anti-Crystal Melter Cannon, which is designed to instigate crystal ships. And it'll just be a little picture of a middle finger punching your ship repeatedly. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Neither would I. This is not, this is not something that would surprise me in the slightest. See, the weird thing about this is, with this game, I actually defended it on Steam yesterday. Some guy was saying that he was getting pissed off at the RNG, and he thought this was the worst game ever. I'm like, well, 
you know, it is kind of random, yeah, and the numbers don't always stack up your way, but you learn to work with it, and it's sometimes it works out to your favor, and yada yada. And now the game does this. It's making fun of me. That's fine, game. I defended you. I see how you treat your friends. Okay. Let's uh, start exploring. So, I mean, you know, all that aside, we're not exactly in a terrible spot right now. It could obviously be a lot better, but we're not doing terribly. Okay, so get my glaive beam time to charge up. If I had level 3 cloaking, I'd probably be in a much better position. Cannot believe that hit. Okay, we're just waiting patiently. I cannot believe that didn't hit. That's annoying. Uh, you go do that. That's like the third or fourth time our O2's gone out this episode. Can you just can you just go away? Thank you. See now I can t now I can deal with this ship now that it doesn't have uh like all of these weapons to deal with. Now I can deal with this ship and now we can just kill them. Man, with all those weapons, that's a pain in the ass. Oh right, I forgot these ships heal themselves. That should have killed them. Ah, well, it's okay. I don't even need sensors anyways. We're in the middle of a nebula. Sensors do not work. Glade Beam, would you charge faster? Can you see, Trance, why I'm not entirely enchanted with beams? They're slow. Especially this one. They just have so many this downsides. Ship. This ship seems like it really wants a pre-igniter more than anything else. Yeah. It really does. I could see this ship being a lot better and a lot more playable if instead of the enhanced sensors, and, and hell, instead of some of the engine, you got the pre-igniter. Yeah, I think that might be a little bit too much. Like, a pre-igniter right. off the bat is kind of stupid nuts. Or even a lesser form of pre-igniter, something that makes it just start the first time at half charge. I could live with that. That would be a lot better and... Just for the way the way it's been going, I'm thinking that I should have upgraded to uh, uh, cooking level three as soon as possible. And yeah, then... that's another ship. Seems like it wants. Yeah. I think that would have actually made something happen. Uh, let's disable the ship with our cloaking. Get some fuel. Move on. Okay, we're starting to do okay. Yay! It's another one of these ships. I love these ships, really. Or actually take out their engines this time. Actually, what am I doing? I need to do this the smart way and take out their weapons first. Come on, shoot me. And it hits O2 anyways. That is the fourth or fifth time O2 has gone out. I can't recall. 712. I meant this episode alone. As did I. Ah, well, there you go. How did that not take out their drone control? Well, that's bad. We're getting hit no matter what. This is gonna hurt. Yep. We're in a bad way. I mean, there, there's no ifs, ands, or buts, buts about it. We're in a bad way. Okay, that missed, thankfully. And the glaive beam should take out their weapons. Nope. Good. Yeah, because it's only doing one with their level two shields. Right. This is the other reason for a uh, up 
upgraded or a different weapon system because with level two shields, yeah, you're just barely scratching. Yeah, but we needed to have sh we needed to have shields first, otherwise we would have been dead before we even reached this point. Yeah, it's it. it yeah. I can just hear the disenchantment with this ship just streaming from you. It just could have been done a lot better. I mean, I might just be playing it badly, because I was playing the Nasasio really badly to start with, and I gradually began to understand how the ship worked. So I, sh I could be just playing this one badly, too. It could be. And it could just be shite luck, but either way. Okay, let's uh, let's go to this store. Actually, nope. There's a quest marker over there. We'll go to that store first. Okay, what do we got shot. here? Anything to sell? No. Fix all and um. I'm just gonna hold on to that, I guess, and we'll upgrade uh that to max. Take a point out of here. Put that into here. Okay. Quest marker. Give me something nice. Tally-ho! I really hate this quest, because it never ends well. They always get really pissed, saying the drones are overdue. I'm like, dude, I got here in two jumps. I mean, what, what is your major malfunction? Seriously. Two <sighs> jumps. People, stupid, etc. Yeah. Okay, we should be... Do I want to fight this ship? Green shield and two normal shields. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Okay, now we're on the lookout for another weapon. Let's sell six drone parts for 24 scrap. That sounds like an idea. Let's see what's going on here. That's a fight I can deal with. This guy's going to go down really fast. Okay, let's see. Actually, he might go down fast enough. It's going to be two shots off that, huh? Yeah. He might go down fast, or, or my glade beam might fire before my uh, cloaking device goes down now. And that might be the one thing I needed, is for glade beam to fire that fast. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's yeah. the, I think that's the thing that makes the balance go is you have to get cloak device up to level three. And a pike beam. Game, why would you give me that? Well, having another option, but wait, that's only one damage, isn't it? Yeah, one damage over a very long space. It's valuable. Yeah, it sells. Ooh, stealth weapons. That could be a thing. Stealth weapons on a ship like that? Yeah. We'll go ahead and buy that. Um, do I want the crew teleporter? You want some fuel. Do I want the crew teleporter? No. I can't get the, uh, uh slug ship without it, and we're gonna be seeing multiple, um, uh... Ooh. Nebula soon. Yeah, that's true. It's worth the risk. Yeah, it's worth the risk. I mean, I don't have to use it now, is the thing. I can use it later. Okay, now we have stealth weapons. Uh, we find a survivor. He joins us. It's a mantis. It paid off. Nice. I'm assuming he's sitting in the crew teleporter forevermore. Okay, Zoltan Peace Envoy. This is the uh, event for the Zoltan ship, the energy bomber that we get. Uh, if you hear them out instead of attacking them, they'll talk to you about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. And they ask you to go to the quest marker, which is all the way up here, and preach uh, peace and love to whoever you see. That's... silly. Well, here's how this works. Uh, you and you need to go and take care of that. Here's how this works. Even though I've already gotten the ship, because uh, I can keep on completing the quest, and every time I complete the quest, I get the reward again. Okay. So you get the ship again? Not the ship, but whatever other rewards they have in there. 
things like, um... Let's go ahead and dodge that. Take points out of that, put that, that. Uh, there's usually some other form of reward, things like, um... Like weapons and such. Yeah, or augments, things of that nature. Okay, where does everybody belong? Allison's still up there. You need to get on engines. You need to get on weapons. You need to get on shields. And you need to heal, because I'm teleporting you onto their ship immediately. But yeah, uh, like the... Uh, let's see, what type of weapons? Okay, they don't have... Never mind, they have weapons that scare me. Especially if my shields are completely offline, which gives me a 0% dodge chance. Oof. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How did I not... Huh? I didn't take out the shields. How did I not take out their shields? Uh, you only dealt one damage. Yeah. Okay, you get in there and bug him so we can't get weapons back online. We're gonna take glaive weapon or glaive beam offline for a second. Okay, let's get that back online. You can go heal now. Okay, you pull out, and beam again. Okay, damn it, I didn't quite take out their, um, uh, I didn't get their, um, one more beam in their hose, though, they've only yeah. got two hit points. Didn't take out their weapons, though, that's what I was trying to get rid of. But, uh, I don't really care right now. Trying to get everybody healed up again, because that fight on my ship was kind of bad. Okay. We're fine now. Now I can put a point into power. I still need another point in power uh, as soon as possible. But we're doing a lot better than I thought we were. Mm -hmm. I really wish we could have an extra uh, crew member right now, though. Or some way to deal with the shield level of three or higher. That's what an extra crew member's for. Warp in and take out the shield controls directly? Yep. Works a lot better than you think. Okay, what are we gonna find? Uh, I in think here? it looks pretty good. For example, okay. You... This is how we're gonna do this. These guys have a lot more weapons than I would like them to have. And they took out my uh, beam. Okay, here's the thing about this enemy ship. You're about to lose your guys. No, I'm not. Here's the thing about this enemy ship. It has no uh, med bay. Hmm. Damn. Battle of attrition. Uh, less battle of attrition, more battle of... Can I please get my uh, cloaking device back online? Yeah, they have no... Uh, they have no med bay, which means that I can take them out. I just have to suffer the damage that they throw at me, basically. Come on. Die already. No. There, they're gone. Do you get your crew back? Yeah. Oh. Why wouldn't I? Ah, I see. I didn't destroy their ship. I just took out their crew members. We're going to take a point of pain in a second. Unless they put out that fire really fast. Yes! You two go heal. There's another fire in my weapon control space. Or weapon control. You two, in there. Fix that. But yeah, I get my crew. Yeah, my crew doesn't go anywhere. Okay, now it is time to start upgrading stuff like um, shields and... Uh, actually, shields are what I want to upgrade right now. Okay, you two get out of there. You two get in there. Notch, what were you working on? Shields? Okay. Allison out. Notch in. Brian is my dedicated engine man. 
Notch is my shield man. Okay. You two go heal that real quick. Feel a little bit better now. But yeah, I need to uh, definitely put some points directly into um, shields. And we got the free healing burst item from the Zoltan Eye, which we'll sell later on. What am I going to find here? Choose your doom. I love this event. Okay, so you get to choose if you want to fight a Manta ship, a slug ship, or a rock man ship. I'm going to fight the slugs. Disabled weapons! Uh, surprisingly, no. Okay, you two get on there. What they do, how however... See that really big and scary weapon? Uh, that's a clay beam, isn't it? Yep. Are you aware of why I don't care? Because their crew's already dead. So, got my fuel, some drone parts, and some scrap. Uh, the wise man gets pissed off that I managed to survive his attack, and uh, he ex implodes uh, using uh, the rifts that he caused this thing to come out of to kill himself, and all of a sudden we get a ton of fuel, drone parts, and even more scrap. Nice! I was not displeased to see this event. Okay. Get some more power. Now we have level two shields. Yeah, I actually like that event. That event actually, uh, about nine times out of ten, ends up doing really nice things for me. And now my power needs are no longer a problem, and we have level two shields. Let's go ahead and jump towards that quest marker, I guess. Hope they'll be able to reach it in time. Got hostiles on the ship currently in my... Uh, wow, that's five enemies. Wow. That's kind of unusual. And another guy in my sensors. Usually we never see any more than four, so seeing five is kind of, yeah, kind of different. Luckily, I have better fighters. That's a problem. Get out, you get in. Yep, I have better fighters. We win the fight. That was kind of scary. Yeah, your second member is kind of hanging on by a thread there. All of my crew members are hanging on by a thread. And unfortunately, uh, no, I mean, we didn't take any ship damage, but we didn't get any scrap for it. So it ends up being a wasted beacon. Let's see, Brian, nice. what was I having you do? Yeah, yeah it's it, that's just the issue with the, this jump. It's not that... I have no problem with the fight itself. It's a wasted beacon, though. It's it's wasted fuel. You get nothing out of it. Yeah, you get a little bit of fighting experience for whichever crew members happen to land the killing blows. But that's not as uh, important as, say, anything else. So, obnoxious. Let's heal up Jones here. And now that Jones is ready, we will jump over here. And then we'll jump to the quest marker afterwards. Let's see. Reverse ion field is what we got there, which is useful. We got a fight here. It's... Oh, no, we don't got a fight here. That's right. Okay, so for the finishing the Zoltan uh, event... Uh, you got the uh, rebel ship that wants to attack you. You attempt to hail them. Uh, they're going to open communications. Can't believe there's anything you could say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete federation. Remember, we want to espouse peace and love. So uh, perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end anyway but war. And our response needs to be true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Uh, when doing so, all indications of the rebel ship fade away, and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you meet, uh, met previously or materializes on your bridge, gives you a ton of scrap and a fire beam. A fucking fu- Okay, here. Make peace by burning all who would oppose you. What? Yeah. <laughs> and 
I'm sorry, but... What? <laughs> you know the one thing they failed to give me, though? <laughs> Maybe you could aim your fucking fire beam out the back of your ship. Let's see, sensors are picking up armed crew and considerable... Okay. Let's fight these guys. Oh, I can live with that. I'm sorry, just... What? I know. Spit peace, love, by burning all who dare do otherwise. <laughs> yeah, it's... kind of silly. I know it's a random pool. It has to be, but... That's just silly. God damn it, are you kidding me? I don't wait for the last second to actually activate that. Seriously? Okay, we're gonna kill one of their Zoltan crew members, at least. Or not. Okay, now that's offline, which is exactly what I want to see. So this is how this works. We take out their, uh, actually, let's turn off the glaive beam. We take out their med bay, so then that way when these guys try to go into the med bay to heal, we're just able to attack them in the med bay and take them out. And then we just go finish up. No! No, how? How did a Zoltan kill a mantis? I lost my mantis crew member. You lost your mantis to a Zoltan. Yeah. I, I don't know how that works. <laughs> Anna? I guess. No, no. It's a Zoltan, right? Yeah. Obviously, it had a can of raid. Wouldn't surprise me. And surprisingly, from that event, we still did not get any fuel. Okay, well, we're being attacked again. You two go jump onto the enemy ship. This is probably not going to end well. Because it's two mantis and I'm throwing two humans over there. I can't even... You know what I can do? This is what I can do. For the first time ever, I will actually use this weapon. Are you using... The fire beam? No. Uh, guys, I would like to... Oh, crap. I'm about to lose two more crew members. You can only heal bomb your own ship. No, I can heal bomb an enemy ship. The problem is the heal bomb did not fi uh, fire anywhere near as fast as I thought it would. Oof. So I ended up losing those crew members. Well, I mean, this, this, this episode's already over. It really is. Well, viewers... Everything's on fire. The mantises are dead. Missiles are raining down. Not missiles. Bombs. Bombs are raining down. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Fuck This. Um. No, really. I, I want to I wanna hear how this ends. I'm curious. I don't know. You don't have you don't have anything you can use L for, really? Fuck this laser gun. Because really, the glaive beam is I should mention my entire ship is basically boned. Yep. Yep, you're your host. Pretty much. It's... There's only one thing left to say. You know what that is? Pretty much. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I got one more jump. Let's wait for let's wait for the rebels to catch up to me. Holy crap! This one has less shields than the last thing we fought. I might be able to kill it. No, no, I can't kill it. I'm going to die. But we're giving my we're giving me a little bit of hope.
That still hit me somehow. 92% chance of evade, and that still hit me. I don't even, game. I don't even. Okay, Glaive Beam does jack all. We get set on fire again. I don't even have the crew members to go out to actually stop these fires or repair this broken stuff. Oh, good. O2's now. Uh, O2 is down. So does it take this long to destroy a crippled ship? I don't have any more weapons. My weapon systems are down. They're pretty much just batting you around like there a There we go. Yep. Later, viewers. Next time, we'll play a ship that's actually fun. And next time, we'll maybe figure out why an interstellar spaceship that's supposed to be a stealth ship is camo-colored. Yeah. I blame George Bush. I blame George Lucas. Later, viewers.